Hey everyone, welcome to Encore, and today we're going to do an eye look inspired by Ghost Whisperer, so keep watching. Hey everyone, it's Corin, and you're watching Encore Makeup. Blend, blend, blend. Hi Corin, stop using my lipstick. Hey everyone, welcome back. So... Ghost Whisperer is probably one of the very few TV shows that I watch, especially late night. <laughs> and uh, for those of you who know, I love forensic TV shows like CSI, NCIS, you know, things like that. But every now and then I also find myself fascinated by paranormal reality TV shows like Ghost Hunters and Ghost Adventures and things like that. And even though it's not a reality show, Ghost Whisperer is probably one of the very few that I really like that's a series. And um, Jennifer Love Hewitt, who plays Melinda Gordon, who is um, who plays a character that has this like special gift of like seeing and talking to ghosts and helping them kind of like walk through the light, you know, and just and moving on to that next phase. And um, her earlier episodes, she usually just donned like a neutral look and the focus is like on that wing line, it's just this black liner. But recently she's been sporting this like, you know, smoky eye look. And continuity is definitely key because you always wear this like kind of copper color. So usually kind of like on the shimmer side, it's got a little bit of gold. But she still have the signature Jennifer Love Hewitt lashes and everything. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's begin. So as always, in most of my eye looks, I always start with a primer. And for this look, because I'm going to be using a lot of loose pigments, I'm going to go and use my Urban Decay Primer Potion because of its non-creasing formulation and because uh, pigments creases on me. This is definitely my go-to product for that. And you simply start by applying it right at the base of the lashes covering the whole lid. And you can initially apply this using the wand that came in with the product. And then use your ring finger and smooth it out and uh, evenly distribute it throughout the whole lid of the eye from the base of the lashes all the way to the brow bone. Next I'm ready to apply my first color and for that I'm using a loose MAC pigment and this is gold mode and I'm just going to apply that to the main lid using a really dense brush making sure to pack it on first so that it adheres to the skin and you don't, you don't get as much fall offs. Now with the uh, MAC pigments that are metallic you will get fall offs and uh, so you can just clean that off later so don't worry about that. Just make sure that it's sticking to the skin first and then blend later. My next color is a copper color and this is called Copper Sparkles from MAC and I'm going to apply this to the outer half of the eye and also on the crease line and just a little bit on the base of the brow bone using a wet brush. Okay, now this is what we call foiling and this is going to help the copper sparkle from uh, mixing and blending in with the gold mode. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of the copper sparkle right in the inner corner as well to make the eye pop. And then using a blender shader brush, much like this one, we're going to soften the harsh edges right in the base of the brow bone. And then to add depth and dimension to the outer and the deeper crease, I'm actually going to add a MAC pigment called Rose. I'm just going to add that to the outer and of course the deeper crease and making sure there are no harsh edges and that it transitions beautifully uh, to the uh, copper sparkle. Next I'm ready to line, so for that I'm just going to use my Feline, and this is a Cold Power pencil from MAC, and I'm just going to line the upper lash line just right above the uh, natural lashes. And before I set that out with powder, I'm just going to smudge and smoke it out a little bit with my pencil brush, and this is my MAC 211, and I'm just going to smudge and smoke out the edges. And then using MAC Carbon, which is a black matte eyeshadow, I'm just going to set that liner. Setting your eyeliner, especially if you used pencil or liquid, is going to prevent it from raccooning later on. 
now we're ready to add colors to the lower lash line and you can definitely use some more uh, eyeshadow primer in the lower lash line to prevent fall offs and uh, to make sure that the products adhering to the skin and for the uh, first color I'm going to use I'm going to go back to my copper color and I'm just going to apply that right underneath the natural hairs of the lower lash line And then going back to my rose pigment, I'm going to add that to the outer corner so that way there's continuity right into the upper part of the uh, outer corner of the eye. And then going back to my feline, I'm just going to add little dots, kind of like in a padding motion, right onto the hairline. And this is going to add a little bit more dimension right into the lash line. And then using a smudger brush, we're just going to soften the line so that, that way it doesn't look too skippy. And this is also going to push the uh, feel line right in between the hairs. Next, using a cotton swab and a little bit of an eye makeup remover, a little bit of a moisturizer, we're going to pick up some of the fall-offs that we created from applying the eye makeup application. And don't focus much on getting the fall-offs right on the top of the cheekbones because you can clean that off later when you apply your concealer or your foundation. Next, using my brow pencil in Velvet Tone, this is from MAC, I'm going to fill in and shape the brows. Now I'm ready to highlight the brow bone and because I used a lot of shimmer in this look I'm going to stick with a matte color and this is Bisque from MAC which is a matte eyeshadow. And I'm just going to start right under the brow hairs and then blend that downwards to transition right into the base of the brow bone color. Now for the thick lash look I'm actually going to apply false eyelashes and this is an encoreine available on my website at encoremakeuponline.com and using that with duo lash adhesive or surgical adhesive, I'm just going to apply that right above the natural hairline. And finally, to add more focus to the lashes, I'm going to use my Sculpt Mascara from Face Atelier. I'm going to apply two coats of this right at the lower lash line. And to blend your natural lashes with the false lashes, you can actually apply one coat of this, making sure that you are blending the natural lashes to the false lashes on the upper lid. And that completes this look, inspired by Ghost Whisperer and the character of Melinda Gordon, played by Jennifer Love Hewitt. And hopefully this is a look that you can wear, I don't know, probably prom, prom season. Yeah, prom's coming out, definitely, you know, it's dramatic enough uh, for prom. Or maybe just an evening night out. It'll look amazing on that perfect black dress. So thanks a lot for joining me. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.